Hi guys, um, today is March 17th, so this is um, our second video for today, and this will be our writing lesson. Yesterday, um, for writer's workshop, I had you guys brainstorm and really think about um, different ideas for fairy tale adaptations, and I ho hope that you're able to at least write one entry. Um, today we're going to look at our learning intentions. Today I will push my pen and collect at least one more entry before I choose a story. Success criteria, by the end of our writing lesson today, I can choose one story idea I would like to develop and publish. Remember, you can only choose one because we're going to really dig deep and use all these different types of strategies that we've used previously and make sure that we're writing the best possible story. Um, language intention for today. I know we're not in school, but I would still like for you to say things like, I chose this story idea because, and you can say it out loud. Um, and then lastly, social intention. I try my best even when no one is looking. So um, just because I'm not there to supervise you or to lead you or to guide you, um, definitely this is a time where you should be pushing yourself as much as possible. So yesterday I did a lot of collecting and I actually did, gave myself a little homework. And in the video, in the last video, I showed you how I collected for one story, the little red panda bear and the ferocious snow leopard. But I chose two more. I chose to do two more entries because I really want you guys to understand the importance of collecting, so that you have choices and you can really choose the one that you really like the most. Um, so I'm gonna go back. That's recipe card number one. Always on number one is to reread what you've written, um, which is what I'm about to do. So yesterday for the little red panda bear and the ferocious snow leopard, I wrote. Little Red, Little Red Panda Bear's mother called her to the kitchen. Yes, Mama, asked the Little Red Panda Bear. Your grandmother has a terrible cold, and I made her some bamboo soup and bamboo muffins to make her heal. I need you to go drop it off at her house. Yes, Mama, anything for my grandmother. Little Red Panda Bear prepared a basket with the soup and the muffins and began her voyage through the beautiful lush forest. So that's the story that I collected yesterday. Um, but for homework, I also chose to write two more. If I go back to my heart map, I wrote, as part of my brainstorming, I added the three little coffees and the very thirsty Miss Maldonado. So let's see what it says. The three little coffees and the very thirsty Miss Maldonado. It was a beautiful Monday morning in Los Angeles, California, but Miss Maldonado hadn't had her morning coffee yet, and she was extremely grumpy. She decided to go to Starbucks, but when she showed up, there was a closed sign. No way, why are they closed today? She asked herself as she peered into the store. What she saw amazed her. There were three coffees walking on the countertop and they appeared to be talking to each other. Inside the store, the three little coffees stretched their little feet. Yikes, I am tired today, said Mr. Cappuccino. Yeah, tell me about it, replied Miss Ice Coffee. I'm so happy the store is closed today. We can take a vacation, yelled Mr. Frappuccino. So that's the second story that I collected on. Um, and then the third one is uh, Caterella. So if I go back, it's like Cinderella, but about cats. Once upon a time, there was a very cute, fluffy cat. She had gray fur and deep green eyes. Her name was Caterella, and she lived with her papa cat in a mansion. Caterella and her papa were very happy living together. She was a great daughter. She helped keep the litter box clean and hunted with her papa for little rodents like gerbils and mice. Papa Cat loved Caterella very much, but he longed for a wife to help him raise Caterella. He felt very, very lonely. One day at the grocery store, he met Meanie. Meanie was a very beautiful, tall, white Persian cat, but she was very wicked. Papa Cat had no idea she was evil. Meanie was also a mama cat. She had two very spoiled kittens named Zoe and Chloe. After a few dates, sorry, Chloe, I just realized um, I named one of the kittens Chloe. After a few dates at the movie theater and at the beach, Papa Cat and Meanie married. Meanie and her daughters moved into the mansion. That's when things went really, really wrong for Caterella. So I'm looking at my three stories so far, and man, I really like all three. I think all three would be really like fun to write. So I know I did my part of my recipe card is always to reread number two to you know really think like which one do I really enjoy the most? Mm, three little coffees is I can see where it can be funny. Um, the one about the snow leopard and the red panda bear could be really good too. 
But you know, guys, I really, I love my cats and I love cats and I haven't had my cats in a while. So I think I'm actually gonna go with Caterella. And I think I chose, I'm gonna go back to my language intention. Hmm. I, I'm gonna say something like, I chose this story idea because um, the story Cinderella has significance to me, has a good, has a lot of meaning to me. I remember watching it when I was little and I really liked it. And I like this story idea because I'm combining two things that I like, Cinderella and cats. And I think I can make it really funny. So that's why I'm choosing that one. So remember today your goal is to push your pen one more time, maybe two more times. See how many times you can, um, do, you know, do a few entries and really think like which one do you like the most and then choose it. And if you can, please either write me an email at shaziperiodmaldonado at caminonuevo.org to tell me which one you've chosen, or you can write a comment below, um, or you can tell your parents to send me a message. They have my phone number um, telling me which fairy tale you've chosen. I'm excited to see your ideas. Bye, guys.